cancer a highly dreaded c word every one of us knows someone who's battled cancer with or without success sometimes the prayer has been just for the agony to end been there done that according to a 2022 report presented by the national center for biotechnology information about 14.61 lakh people are suffering from cancer in india one in nine people is at risk of the disease medical experts say cancer is typically detected only when it is in the third or fourth stage if caught at the first stage its growth can be stalled but is there a way to spot cancer before it bears its fangs this is where iit madras is offering a ray of hope cancer is a disease of the genome so the mutations that cause cancer have to be identified a team at iit madras has developed an artificial intelligence tool known as pivot to predict cancer the team has trained the model based on openly available patient data to detect what mutation in a particular gene causes cancer at present the ai prediction model is being applied to three different types of cancer breast invasive carcinoma colon adenocarcinoma and lung adenocarcinoma the plan is to extend it to several more types of cancer so, so these were uh, you know sort of pushed by uh, both the prevalence of these cancers and also the data availability so these are some of the highly studied cancers so you have a lot of data available for these because we also we needed not just simple genomic data but we also needed other layers of data we talk about dna rna and protein so we use multiple layers of data what we call multiomics to study this so the availability of data was crucial but and this is expensive to generate these kinds of data sets so but when we have these data sets uh, like you know these uh, wonderfully useful uh, public uh, repositories like the cancer genome atlas it enables us to do these kinds of research the fundamental goal of most cancer genomic research is to try and identify particular genetic mutations that kick start cancer then to arrest it a new drug can be formulated or an existing one repurposed by looking at the corresponding proteins in these genes cancer study and research is a vast ocean it seeks to identify different aspects of cancer and give a different perspective of cancer mutations and the challenge here is with data generation there are a lot of mutations that happen but only a some a few of them are actually important in causing cancer and typically the tools to identify this simply go by there are 100 patients how many of them have a particular mutation we built a new tool to identify these genes in in a single sample based on a lot of examples that have been given to our model right so we have publicly available data that talk about what kind of genes are causing cancer what kinds of mutations in these genes are causing cancer so once we have a, a cancer patient's genome we can try and pinpoint what are the mutations that are most likely causing cancer in this patient so that should give a few more clues on what is the etiology of the disease in this particular patient and how it can potentially be treated the catch here is that there are differences between data retrieved from a caucasian patient and an indian patient Though India has 20% of the world's global population, according to data, it only contributes to 0.2% of the global genetic database. So very few of these samples are Indian. So so we are now focusing on trying to get more Indian samples into this, right? So uh, the model is relatively, you know, easy to train and easy to build. So once we have the Indian genomic sequences, we can feed them into this and start making our predictions. Though cancer retains some mystery, things have changed drastically over the past few decades. There are treatment and therapy options. Cancer research has grown significantly. India has seen an increase in genome sequencing in recent years. Government bodies are also increasingly recognizing the importance of these advancements. The future for genomics looks bright with steady progress in technological advancements also. So, there might soon come a day when people will beat cancer to lead a wholesome life as the adage goes hope triumphs the federal report subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates